How do cookies work and how do I delete them? Hi everyone, Leo Notenboom here for askleo.com. Cookies are an interesting topic. In one hand, they're actually really benign. On the other hand, they make a lot of people nervous because they can be used to track your activity across the internet. Let's talk about cookies, define what they are. They're very simple. And then we'll walk through the three major browsers and show you how you can see and delete your cookies. The concept of a cookie is very, very simple. When you visit a website, that website can instruct your browser to save a piece of data. The website gets to say what that data is. The browser doesn't know what the data means. It just knows that it's supposed to save this thing, this little bit of information for that website. So for example, you might visit reallybigbookstore.com and reallybigbookstore.com might tell your browser, please save this number, 548. We have no idea what it means, but the browser very carefully squirrels it away. Now, a day, a week, a month later, you visit Really Big Bookstore again. The browser, when you make that request to reallybigbookstore.com, it also says, oh, by the way, I have this piece of information you asked me to save. Here it is, 548. Again, the browser doesn't know what that means. It's simply, here's the data you gave me the last time we visited you. That way, really big bookstore says, oh, we've been here before. Thanks for the number, 548 or whatever it was. Now, in reality, of course, that number A won't be that simple and B will probably be encrypted or at least obfuscated in some way but it is nothing more than it's just a random piece of data that only reallybigbookstore.com knows what to make of. Generally, it's something that might say, yep, he's our customer, he's customer number 548, and he's already logged in or something like that. That's really all a cookie is. It's a piece of data that a website can save on your machine that the website gets back every time you visit that website. And that's important, that last part is important. Cookies are only associated with specific websites. In other words, only reallybigbookstore.com can see the cookies that reallybigbookstore.com asked your browser to save. All of the other websites you visit can't see that. Only the website that left a cookie gets the cookie back. Now, what about tracking them? How does tracking work? Well, the way it works is actually fairly simple when you realize that this applies to every website that is involved in displaying a page, including the advertising websites. So let's say you go to reallybigbookstore.com. On that page is an advertisement. That advertisement actually doesn't come from reallybigbookstore.com. It comes from, I don't know, ads.google.com or something like that. So ads.google.com does not get to see the cookies for reallybigbookstore.com, even though it was involved in building the page. But ads.google.com does know and has its own set of cookies. It also knows that it was called by reallybigbookstore.com. So those two things put together allow it to also remember not just that you've seen an ad, but that you've seen an ad while you were visiting reallybigbookstore.com. This, of course, cascades into all of the different pieces that are involved in building the web pages you visit. Even when you visit askleo.com, various pieces on the page come from different URLs. In my case, that might be media files, video files come from different domains completely. They're not on askleo.com. And of course, advertising comes from a completely different place yet again. When those advertising networks are used across multiple different sites, which as we know, the very largest ones are, they then use cookies to basically kind of sort of track you. 
The fact that you are viewing this product on that site is something that the advertising network gets to find out so that when they're asked to display a different ad on a different site, they can say, oh, he was looking at this. Let's show him an advertisement for it. That's kind of how cookie tracking works. Now, one of the things that we need to define is what's called a third party cookie. There's an option in many browsers that allows you to disable third party cookies. What are those? Well, if you visit reallybigbookstore.com, that's the first party. You are the second party. The third party is any other domain, any other web property that's involved in building that page. So ads.google.com that might be involved in putting an advertisement on your site is a third party. By denying third party cookies, the other services that are involved in building a page, like the advertisers, don't have the opportunity to save that little bit of information that says, yep, this is who this is. Now, they obviously use significantly more complicated tracking techniques than just cookies, but this is how cookies work. Pieces of information that are deposited by a website in your browser that are then given back to the website the next time you visit. It's all it really is. So with that behind us, Let's have a quick look at what it takes to potentially view and certainly clear the cookies on your machine. We'll start with Microsoft Edge. So what I'm going to do actually is rather than manipulate the various menus, I'm going to use a keystroke that will be, end up becoming very, very handy across all of these browsers. I'm holding down Control, Shift, and Delete. What that does is it brings up the clear browsing dialog. That allows you to clear a bunch of different pieces of information, including your history, your downloads, and something we refer to quite often, cached images and files. We occasionally refer to clearing the cache. This is what that means. If all you wanted to do was clear your cookies and nothing else, you would leave that checked. You get to choose your time range Rarely do you want a time other than just saying, clear them all, make them all go away, and you would hit clear now. I'm not going to because there are ramifications, and I'll talk about that in a moment. So that's really all it takes to clear your cookies in Microsoft Edge. There are other settings. So we'll go ahead and search settings for cookies, and you can see that there are a number of different uh, options related to cookies. The one that is perhaps the most interesting is cookies and site data, and then see all cookies and site data. That's this one here. And you can see now here, there are a number of sites that are listed, many of which probably don't make a lot of sense as websites that I visited, but they absolutely do make sense as websites that are referenced by the websites that I visited. You'll notice I'm not showing you any of the cookies. You would click on the little arrow here to actually show you what the cookie contains. Generally, it won't be very useful. And of course, you can delete individual cookies simply by clicking on the garbage can associated with it. But that's Microsoft Edge. Deleting cookies in Firefox. We'll fire up Firefox. Type Control Shift Dell. And now you get the clear recent history dialog. There you have the option of clearing your cache and other items related to your browsing activity. Note that it defaults to only the last hour. Generally, if you're going to be clearing things, I recommend clearing everything all time. And if all you want to do is clear cookies, make sure that that is checked and click on the OK button to make them go away. Once again, I'm not going to do this because there are ramifications I'll speak to in just a minute. And finally, managing cookies in Google Chrome. We'll type Control Shift Dell to bring up the clear browsing data dialog. We will select all time and you can select then your browsing history, your cache, 
Turn those off if all you want to do is clear cookies and click on clear data. Advanced will let you clear a few other things, but the most important things we're talking about here would be your cookies and other site data. Again, I'm not going to do it because there are ramifications. So what are these ramifications I keep talking about? Cookies are what prevents you from needing to log in every time you visit a new page on a site that requires a login. For example, let's say you have a paid subscription to the Washington Post. You sign in and you start reading news articles. Without cookies, every time you clicked on a new article to view, you would have to log in again. Cookies allow the Washington Post and any website to remember that you did log in once successfully. That is probably the single most common use of cookies that actually impacts you and me. What that means is for every site that you have said, remember me, as soon as you clear cookies, they all forget. And what that means is that now all of a sudden you'll need to log into every website that you visit after having cleared cookies, even though you previously said, remember me. So what should your settings with respect to cookies be? My belief is that you and I are just not that important to track as individuals and that the default settings for cookies are just fine. The default settings have actually changed a little bit. Cookies are accepted. Third party cookies are often denied and that's fine. That's a perfectly reasonable amount of privacy and security for your traditional normal browsing. Now, there are folks who have concerns about being tracked. Perhaps they have legitimate concerns about being tracked and they might want to take some more aggressive stances when it comes to cookies. But by and large, the default settings in all of the major web browsers are just fine and you don't need to do anything else. You don't really even need to clear cookies unless you feel the need for some reason or perhaps you're experiencing a problem that might be cookie related. In reality, I've never run across one of those and it's generally the cache that gets in your way. So I hope this was helpful. I hope this was a little informative. For updates, for related links, for the full article on which this video was based, which goes into just a little bit more detail, visit askleo.com 2032. I'm Leo Notenboom. This is askleo.com. Thanks for watching.